Hi everyone. We now have in place a way in which we can talk about our three forces in the quantum field theory context. We've got the electromagnetic theory, ex uh, electrons exchanging photons of light. We have quarks exchanging color, this color property, um, which is how the quarks bind together. And now we have the weak nuclear force exchanging these uh, weak bosons, uh, labeled W and Z for various reasons. And that actually transforms the very nature of the particles, moves them up and down and across that little mini periodic chart I mentioned on the, in, in the first video. There is a significant issue though uh, with this new structure of the weak force and that is that there's too much energy associated with it. If you work through the experiments, um, basically the amount of energy that is transmitted in any one of these weak boson events, there's more energy than there should be. You know, a, a photon of light carries energy in and of itself just by virtue of its existence. You know, there's a relativistic phenomenon saying that, you know, th this energy itself is massive, e equals mc squared. Well, the same thing is true of the weak nuclear force, but there's more than there ought to be, which implies that these weak bosons are actually themselves massive. Now, the photon of light has zero mass. The gluons also have zero fundamental rest mass. All of their mass comes from their motion. Well, the weak bosons have too much. And so this is a, a significant problem because according to the way quantum field theory works, the bosons have to have no mass at all. So how do we deal with this problem? That's where this Higgs boson comes into play. And so, you know, it's kind of complicated, but the way it works is that um, initially you imagine that this weak nuclear force is mediated by particles that are massless, that they do not have mass at all. Now, imagine there exists a field throughout all space in which these weak bosons interact. And the idea goes something like this picture here. Imagine that you've got, you know, a room full of physicists, okay? And uh, in walks Dr. Einstein. Dr. Einstein walks in the room. All of a sudden, the physicists clump to him, okay? They get together. And so Einstein, as he tries to walk around this room, kind of experiences this resistance to his motion because there's all these other particles clumping around him. That's the analogy for the Higgs field. The Higgs field is the blue physicist, okay? And what happens is there's an interaction with every particle, okay? So this Einstein figure represents one of the fundamental particles called the u quark The u quark interacts with the Higgs field, and actually the Higgs field resists its motion. And in effect, this creates mass. It's hard for the particle to move through uh, this, this space. And so this Higgs mechanism actually is an explanation for why particles have the mass that they have. Now, one consequence of this fact is down here. Same Higgs field in play you got this guy, he screams into the field. He says, hey, I heard, uh, I heard Dr. Einstein's on his way, okay? And that message actually itself can propagate through. The physicists clump together and say, did you, hear what I heard? did you hear what they said? Did you hear what they said? I heard that Einstein was coming. They clump together and actually the Higgs field is attractive to itself. This is what a normal particle looks like the bare particle surrounded by its Higgs post or its Higgs um, field partners, but you can actually have the Higgs field itself combine and interact with itself. This is called the Higgs boson, and this is what people were looking for 
or evidence for in the Large Hadron Collider and was recently discovered. They discovered that this phenomenon does really happen that, you know, basically um, out of nothing, essentially, this boson can, you know, effectively take the Higgs field, tie itself in a big knot, and drag it across space and actually um, uh, be a particle in and of its, or, or create situations in which it looks like there's another particle there. And that's what, this is how the Higgs uh, mechanism works. So this uh, weak boson, initially massless, acquires mass just by virtue of the way it interacts with the Higgs field. And that is how we save um, the, the quantum field theory of the weak force using the Higgs mechanism.